What you do to your knee? A lot of times mothers have not had the opportunity to actually be mothers because they have been in active addiction. Treating the family as a family teaches mothers how to be mothers. Mother's biggest fear when they seek out recovery, especially coming into treatment programs, is the fear of losing their baby, the fear of being criminalized, the fear of having even more stigma placed on her. You see bellies one day and then the next day there's this bundle. There are children who are not in the NICU, who are healthy, who are born healthy. And then you look around and they're walking. They're happy and they're healthy and it's because they have happy and healthy moms. Our Freedom House model is we are not only changing mothers' lives, but we are changing kids' lives. And we are healing the trauma that the mom and those kids have endured, and we're, we're healing them together. We help women recover their lives. We have a high addiction rate, particularly with women, and we actually have a rising addiction rate of women and men of color and there's just not enough facilities that allow mothers to bring their children with them into treatment. And mothers want to be with their children. Volunteers of America has been a standard of excellence for this program. In the state of Kentucky, the average days of NICU stay for a baby born with NAS, which is neonatal abstinence syndrome, is 18 days. A baby who is born while at Volunteers of America at our Freedom House, the average NICU stay is three and a half days. So Humana has made it possible to go into other markets. They have provided funding to our national office, which will help build these infrastructures as well as the expertise for that FFR model. This location is really needed because we have some of the highest rates of neonatal abstinence syndrome in Ohio, and we have very high overdose rates throughout Franklin County and the state of Ohio. Earlier today, we had a hard hat tour with our funding partner, Humana. Um, they were gracious enough to give us a significant capital grant in order to purchase and renovate the building for this program. The significance of this is that we are now able to start renovating um, and get the program up and running in order to start serving people by the end of 2023. The strategy has been how can we think about new states and new places that this model can be effective and we can bring new services to that state. It's not just about the need for increased beds so that we can get more women into these facilities, but really changing the overall way that we interact so that ultimately these programs become sustainable and aren't just waiting for the next grant or funding that may not be available. Volunteers of America Southeast Louisiana is very committed to providing the services. The Humana Foundation grant has been instrumental in the planning and program development. We'll be able to utilize that funding to provide training on evidence-based models and interventions. There's been a lot of disparities related to specifically Black and African American women accessing treatment, being able to include their family as that component of cultural responsiveness to what they need and what they relate to in terms of improving their health outcomes. Freedom House gave me all the tools I needed to be successful. First, they gave me support, then they gave me sobriety. They made sure that I not only kept the baby that I had, but that I reunified with the other kids that I had separated from. I really like didn't know how to be a mom or like what to do. I, I didn't even know how to like take care of myself, so Freedom House just gave me the space. You don't ever have to know me as the drunk mom or high mom. We've needed this for years, so every time that I make a call and I'm able to tell another 
potential partner about the work that we're able to do with a family-focused recovery and the support that Humana is providing us is huge. And everyone is so excited and the services are so needed. So it's truly a blessing that we're able to be doing this for our community.